All of us are searching for the same things. We're all hopeful, fearful, and human. So let's offer those words of wellness one last time. If you want to learn how you can live better with PMDD, this podcast was created for you. This is Mindfulness for PMDD with Diane. I'm Diane, and I'm a registered dietitian and lactation consultant. I'm also a mom, a PMDD warrior, and a trauma-informed mindfulness teacher. And this is where I discuss topics related to PMDD through the lens of mindfulness and meditation, and where I share all about how mindfulness has gotten me to a place of greater peace and acceptance with my PMDD. I also chat with people who have helped and inspired me along the way, so they can share their wisdom with you too. So let's get started. The following is a mindfulness exercise or meditation. So if you're driving or otherwise distracted, I invite you to save it for a time when you can find yourself a moment of comfortable stillness and practice safely. If now's that time, let's get started. Hello, friends. This is called Classic Kindness. This one is a classic meditation lifted from the Buddhist tradition where words of wellness are offered to ourselves and to others. There's loads of research out there which suggests that the benefits of this type of meditation can be wide-reaching. So let's keep a kind and open mind and give this one a go together now. We're going to start with three deep, purposeful breaths, really trying to exhale for longer than you inhale in your own time or together with me. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One last big deep inhale. And letting it all out. That's great. Closing your eyes now if you haven't already, or if you'd prefer, you can keep your eyes open and just soften your gaze onto a single spot in front of you. Letting yourself settle into this moment now. Maybe... Focus on the breath, or expand your attention to the whole body just sitting or lying here right now. And remember that when your mind wanders, because it will, you can always kindly bring yourself back to these senses and tune back into the meditation as and when you're ready. So when you're ready, I'd like you to bring to mind someone in your life where the relationship feels straightforward, where warmth and kindness flow easily, someone who makes you feel safe and supported. So that may be a good friend, a mentor, a treasured family member, And I'd like you to imagine that you're sharing these kind words with them. So just listening or repeating after me if you'd prefer. May you be safe and free. May you be as happy and healthy as it is possible for you to be. May you have the courage just to be. Feel free to switch the words around if something different feels more suitable to you. Anything that hits up your happiness and kind vibes. So still with that sense of holding this loved one in heart and mind, 
We'll wish them well once more. May you be safe and free. May you be as happy and healthy as it is possible for you to be. May you have the courage just to be. That's great. Now in your own time, I'd like you to offer some wellness words to yourself, if you can. Keeping that sense of friendliness. And if that feels difficult, maybe play around with a gentle smile at the corners of the mouth or placing a hand over your heart center. So listening again to these phrases. May I be safe and free. May I be as happy and as healthy as it is possible for me to be. May I have the courage just to be. That's great. Be curious about what words connect for you. And before we move on, let's just pause to check in with the breath and the body for a moment, just listening to what is here. Now when you're ready, I'd like you to bring to mind a stranger. Someone you see regularly, but don't know all that well. Perhaps a familiar neighbor, another parent at the school gates, a checkout person at your local shop. We're just pausing here to acknowledge that although you don't know them well, the chances are that they have a life full of highs and lows and wish to be happy just like you do. So keeping them in heart and mind, we can use the same phrases or free flow if you'd prefer. May you be safe and free. May you be as happy and healthy as it is possible for you to be. May you have the courage just to be. You can repeat the phrases again in your own time if you like now. Maybe layering on a kind smile at the sides of your mouth if that feels comfortable to you. While holding this person in your heart and mind and listening to whatever comes up for you. No judgment. And now when you're ready, I'd like you to bring your awareness to the sense of yourself just resting here. And then slowly expand your awareness to include the community of people around you, wherever you are right now. You can take your circle of awareness as near or far as you like, scanning right out to your town your country, or even the world, if you like. All of us are searching for the same things. We're all hopeful, fearful, and human. So let's offer those words of wellness one last time. May we all be safe and free. May we all be as happy and as healthy as it is possible for us to be. And may we all have the courage just to be. So let's take one last final moment to check in now. 
sitting with the breath and the body in this present moment. As and when you're ready, slowly and gently come up back into the room in your own time, wriggling your fingers and your toes, and slowly open your eyes. Thank you for making the time for yourself today and see if you can thank yourself and acknowledge that you have taken the time out for yourself today because you are worth it. Bye for now. Thank you so much for listening. If you liked the show, please subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. For links to everything mentioned in this episode, you can check out the show notes. And you can find me, Diane Jesus, on Instagram at Mindfulness for PMDD. Now, I invite you to pause, take a breath, and look around. Mm